Hey guys, the Derp Gamer here, and welcome to episode 8 of Undertale. <laughs> In the last episode, we found Temi Village, and it's very weird. Let's continue. And I have someone actually watching me on a Skype call. <laughs> oh god. Alright. Let's go off and go on this other path and fight. Wushua and Aaron appear. Alright, I will clean Wushua. You ask Wushua to clean you, it hops around excitedly. Green means clean. No. Give me... Why? Why Wushua? Okay. Well then, this is definitely going to be a different video since I can actually see someone watching me record this. And another one of my friends is playing a game. Jeez, there's so many people doing stuff. Let's get rid of Aaron since I can't get rid of Wushua. What is happening? Why is there a bar of soap trying to kill me? Stop trying to kill me, Wushua. I just want to be clean. Alright. Aaron flexes very hard. He flexes himself right out of the room. Stop trying to kill me with a bar of soap! Can I finally clean you now, Aaron? Yes, thank you. There we go. Finally, I'm done. Finally. 55 gold out of that. That was not enough for all that pain and torment I just went through. Without candles or magic to guide them home, the monsters use crystals to navigate. And it's getting darker. Great. Light. I need light. Light is very important. More light is needed. And another fight. Wushu and Moldbig appear. No. Alright. Don't hug Moldbig. Bar of soap. Why? I am about to die. Eat the ice cream. If I... Not moving doesn't work. So much stuff going off. Out, darn spot. I don't want to get out. Leave me alone. Whoa. Alright. Clean. I'm going to ask Wushua to clean you. Alright, go down here. Don't get hit by that. Grab that. Alright, freedom. 45 gold. Alright, let's get out of here. I hope this is the right way. I can't see anything now. Great. Darkness. I don't like darkness. And more darkness. Why is there so much darkness? Can I go up here? No, I can't. Oh, hello, Echo Flower. Behind you. Oh, um, hi, Undyne. Go away, please. I'm dying. Go away. Seven! Seven human souls! With the power of seven human souls, our king, King Asgore Dreamer, will become a god. With that power, Asgore can finally shatter the barrier. He will finally take to the surface back from humanity and give them back the suffering and pain they have endured. Understand, human? This is your only chance at redemption. Give up your soul, or I'll tear it from your body. And you have a spear. No, go away. Yeah. Oh, hi, monster kid. Thank you for saving me. Undyne, I'll help you fight. Awkward silence. Yo, you did it. Undyne is right in front of you. You got front row seats to her fight. 
Have you figured it out? Wait, who's she fighting? Hey, hey! You aren't gonna tell my parents about this, are you? Well, okay then. Monster Kid finally figured out who's the perceived bad guy, I guess. Alright, Morocco Flowers. You hear a passing conversation. Hmm. If I say my wish, you promise you won't laugh at me. You hear a passing conversation. Of course I won't laugh. Someday, I'd like to climb this mountain we're all buried under. Standing under the sky, looking at the world all around. That's my wish. You hear laughter. Hey, you said you wouldn't laugh at it. You hear a passing con. Sorry, it's just funny. That's my wish, too. However, there is a prophecy. The angel, the one who has seen the surface. They will return, and the underground will go empty. So if I go back here... No. I thought there was going to be something back there. I know there is. I just don't know how to get it. Alright, come on. Oh, there was Flowey. Oh, where, oh, where could that child be? I've been looking all over for them. Um, why is Toriel looking for me? Flowey? Hee hee hee! That's not true! She'll find another kid! And, in and instantly forget about you! You'll never see her again! Well then, Flowey. Just whispering into an echo, an echo flower, why don't you? And we're on a bridge. Okay then. Yo! Hi, Monster Kid. Welcome back. Yo! I know I'm not supposed to be here, but I want to ask you something. Man, I've never had to ask anyone this before. Um, yo, you're a human, right? Haha. <laughs> Man, I knew it! Well, I know it now, I mean. Undyne told me, um, stay away from that human. So, like, um, I guess that makes us enemies or something? But I kind of stink at that. Haha. <laughs> yo, say something mean so I can hate you. Please? No. Yo, what? So I have to do it? Here goes nothing. Yo, I... I hate your guts. Man, I... I'm such a turd. I'm... I'm gonna go home now. Bye, Monster Kid. Eh, what? Monster Kid? Yo, whoa, whoa, wait! Help! I tripped! Oh, hi, Undyne. I'm gonna go save the Monster Kid. Save the Monster Kid. Yeah, yeah, yo, d dude, if, if y y you want to hurt my friend, you have to get through me first. Bye, Undyne. Bye. Thanks, Monster Kid. She's gone. Yo, you really saved my skin. Guess being enemies was just a nice thought, haha. <laughs> we'll have to be friends instead. Man, I should really go home. I bet my parents are worried sick about me. Bye, Monster Kid. Finally. Later, dude. And good, you didn't trip either. Alright. Alright, when... Okay. Wherever this is, let's go. Kill them. Well, okay then. Seven! Seven human souls, and kill... King Asgore will become a god. Six. That's how many we have collected thus far. Understand? Through your seventh and final soul, this world will be just transformed. First, however, as is customary for those who make it this far, I shall tell you the tragic tale of our people. It all started long ago. Are you going to actually tell me? No. You know what? Screw it. <laughs> Why should I tell that story when you're about to die? Well, okay then, Undyne's gonna kill me now. And she's a fish lady. Cause why not? You! You're standing in the way of everybody's hopes and dreams. Elf's history books made me think humans were cool. With their giant robots and flowery swordsmen. But you? You're just a coward. Hiding behind that kid so you could run away from me again. And let's not forget your wimpy good t goody two-shoes stick. 
Oh, I'm making such a difference by hugging random strangers. You know what would be more valuable to everyone? If you were dead. That's right, human. Your continued existence is a crime. Your life is all that stands between us and our freedom. Right now, I can feel everyone's hearts pounding together. Everyone's been waiting their whole lives for this moment. But we're not nervous at all. When everyone puts their hearts together, they can't lose. Now, human. Let's end this. Right here, right now. I'll show you how determined monsters can be. Step forward when you're ready. Frah! Well, okay then. Save point. I need save point. The wind is howling. You're filled with determination. Alright, Undyne. Let's fight. That's it, then. No more running away. Here I come. On guard. Okay, French. Because why not? I'm not going to plead for my life. I'll just spare you. As long as you're green, you can't escape. Unless you learn to face danger head on. You won't last a second against me. And now it's become a rhythm game. Okay, then. Undyne holds her fist in front of her and shakes her head. Because why not? Not bad. Then how about this? I don't like rhythm games. I'm not good at them. Undyne towers threateningly. For years we've dreamed of a happy ending. So how do I beat you? Is my question. Undyne draws her fingers across her neck. And now sunlight is just within her reach. I mean, I'm blocking all of your attacks, so... Undyne thinks of her friends and pounds the ground with her fists. I won't let you snatch it away from us. Okay. Undyne flips her spear impatiently. Nah, enough warming up. This is warming up? Undyne draws her finger across the neck. Okay. Mercy, ha! I still can't believe you want to spare me! Stop throwing spears at me, Undyne! I can actually dodge these now. Somehow. Undyne su suplexes a huge boulder just because she can. But even if I spared you... Stop throwing spears at me! Why do you like spears so much? It smells like sushi. No human has ever made it past Asgore! I don't like rhythm! Rhythm is bad. Undyne draws her finger across- Stop drawing your finger across your neck. Honestly, killing you now is an act of mercy! Ah! No, no. Okay. Somehow I didn't get hurt at all there. Undyne flips his spear impatiently. Jeez. Undyne towers threateningly. So stop being so dang resilient! I don't wanna. I don't wanna die yet. Dying is bad. Jeez. Do I run away or something? And I... I guess run away? Escaped. Run away! No, stop it, Undyne. You've escaped me for the last time! I did... Okay. I only escaped you once. Elphus told me humans were determined! I am. Undyne draws it. Okay, then. I see now what you meant by that! Right, do that. Okay. I don't like rhythm games. I'm not good at these. But I'm determined too. Good for you. Can you start being determined by stop trying to kill me? Determined to end this right now. Jeez, five health. Um, eat the astronaut food. You eat the astronaut food. Your XP was masked out. Right now. Ow, stop it. I'm dying. Stop. Right now. Ow. I'm dying, why? I'm dying flashes a menacing smile. Ha, ha. Why are you laughing? You're trying to kill me. I'm dying thinks of her friends and pounds the ground with her fists. Nah, die already, you little brat. That's mean. Jeez. What is happening? 
five health again. I'm just gonna keep running away. Seems like the right thing to do. I'm out of here. Well, okay. Stop running away! I don't wanna. I'm dying attack. You drink the CT, your speed boosts, you recover 10 HP. Nah, die already, you little brat. You already said that. You're not being original. Hey guys, it's... Go away. Sorry about that. Something weird happened to my recording software right there, so hopefully I can stitch the two things together. Otherwise, this is probably the part you'll be getting. This is gonna be a little bit longer. Yep, we're back here. So, if it doesn't actually stitch together properly, Monster Kid not only fell and then almost died, then defended us, so now we're here. So yeah, I actually know how to do this. That's it then! No more running away! Here I come! Stop it. On guard! Undying attacks. I don't care. Hold on. Can I... I want to see... So I keep getting interrupted by this guy. So I'm trying to... Alright. Hopefully that works. Undying attacks. Alright. Nope. Just spare. As long as you're green, you can't escape. Unless you learn to face danger head on. You won't last a second against me. No, oh, it's so slow. Undying flash with a menacing smile. Not bad. And how about this? Is it different? Yep, it's in different directions. I don't like that. Undying draws her finger across your neck. For years, we've dreamed of a happy ending. And I'm standing in front of it. Oh yeah, and she gave this big monologue. Ow. I was stupid. Undying flips her spear impatiently. This big... And now, sunlight is just within our reach! She gave this big monologue about... Ch talking... stuff. Or about how everyone's hearts are joined together. It smells like sushi. I won't let you snatch this away from us! See, I'm good at this. Yeah, Enough warming up! That was warming up? Jeez. Dodge. Please, don't slow me down. You won't get away from me this time! Oh my god, why? Such technical issues. I love the Undying team. Honestly, I'm doing you a favor! Really? You try- eh. There we go. Jeez, my gun arrow wouldn't work. This is definitely technical errors. No, he won't. Ah, jeez. Boop. Undyne points heroically towards the sky. Yeah. Killing you now is an act of mercy. Sure it is. And why are you trying to kill me? You ate the astronaut food, your HP was maxed out. So stop being so dang resilient! What if I don't want to stop being so resilient? Flee. Escape. Ugh. You escaped me for the last time! What if I don't want to? Elf has told me humans were determined. What about it? And do that. Undyne thinks of her friends and pounds the ground with her fists. I see now what you meant by that. <laughs> Horribly off key. Er, offbeat. Undyne points heroically towards the sky. But I'm determined too. Good for you. I gotta do that, 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 that. Awesome. Determined to end this right now! What if I don't want to end this right now? What if I want to keep going? Right now! 
Jeez. Right now. Ah. How did I block that last one? Ha. Ha. I think I made it go crazy. Ow. Shoot. Five health again. Yeah. Die already, you little brat. How did I block those? Alright, run away. I'm out of here. Welcome to Hotland. Thing. Hey! What's up? Happy Pirates. I was just thinking. You, me, and Undyne should all hang out sometime. I think you we would you would make great pals. Let's meet up at her house later. Click. Stop running away! Do, 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 do. Meh. Welcome to Hotland. Hi, Sands. Hi, Sands. Armor, so hot, but I can't give up. Plop. Well, there's water right here. It's a water cooler. Take a cup of water. Yes, you take a cup of water. Here you go, Undyne. Give Undyne the water. Yeah. There we go. Right on your cheek. Oh, and she's back. Hi. You have an eye patch over your eye. Bye, Undyne. Let's go see if Sans is still over here. He isn't. Sad face. Oh, but you're here. Oh, k -k 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 -k. I was thirsty, so I came over from Waterfall to get a drink. Well, okay then. Seeing such a strange laboratory in a place like this, you're filled with determination. But anyways, guys, sorry it was such a short video, possibly. I'm not quite sure what the video length is, since I have to stitch two videos together. If you guys enjoyed this commentary, or this uh, gameplay, or both, hit that like button, and if you already haven't done so, subscribe, become a derpeteer, we always have room for new members. And until next time, bye!